Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Tech Crack, and we are at it again. I just want to remind people that we are here to bring up news, we are here to help each other, answer the little questions, and hopefully some of the big ones. So if you can, make sure to comment below on your thoughts on this video, make sure you like it, and make sure you also subscribe to show some support so that I can continue to put out these videos. So today we are going to be talking about the newest update, Android 7.1.2, and it brings a nice new feature to the Nexus 5X and the Nexus 6P, and that's a feature that we probably thought we weren't going to get. So this update includes some new security features as always, but we actually get something exciting, and that is the fingerprint gesture on the back of the phone. And basically when you activate it, you can use your index finger to swipe down on that fingerprint reader and bring down the notification menu there just to see what's going on. And you no longer have to take your finger off the back of the phone and, or maybe even try to reach onto the top with your thumb to try and pull it down. Because obviously if you are rocking a bigger phone, that can be harder to do. Now with the 5X, you might be able to get away with that. Uh, but the next 6P big screen, so this will definitely enhance the user experience. So let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are at the main screen of my Nexus 6P. So you're gonna go ahead and click on the app tray icon, and then you're gonna scroll down to your settings here. Click that, and then we're just gonna go down here to moves, quick gestures to control your phone. And then we're gonna have on here swipe for notifications to check your notifications, swipe down on the fingerprint sensor on the back of your phone. And we do wanna activate that, so that's what we have there. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this a try. We're gonna swipe down on the fingerprint sensor here, and then we're gonna swipe up. And I could tell you this is hard to do. And the reason being is because I have a case on my phone and the fingerprint sensor is kind of housed in a hole because of the case. So the fingerprint sensor is recessed and swiping down on that is somewhat of a challenge. So the question becomes, will you use it for this reason? And a lot of people may not use it because it is recessed if you have a phone case on it. And face it, most of us do because we want to protect our phone. So it's definitely going to take some time to get used to. You're going to have to practice quite a bit, but it could be a nice feature here. I could swipe down with my index finger and then I can navigate that menu using my thumb. And you can also use this feature in landscape mode. It's gonna be a little harder to do, but it is possible. And how this is going to work is instead of swiping down, you're gonna be swiping like this. Uh, so that's gonna be pretty awkward. You can try it out. It might work for you, but it probably won't work for most people. We weren't too sure we were going to get this feature, although the fingerprint scanner is said to be basically the same as what is in the Pixel. So Google kind of had us disappointed. We were all down about it. We were worried we were never gonna get it. It was a cool feature in the Pixel. And I guess what happened was they said they could do a firmware update possibly and then bring it to us. So we finally have that nice feature. So make sure you let me know what you think about the new feature being added in this update. Let me know if you're gonna be using it at all. Maybe you will just ignore it, maybe you'll just do it the old way and swipe down on that notification bar. But regardless, give us your opinion. And uh, if there's anything I might have missed that's in this update as well, that's pretty cool, let me know too. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe because again, that will support me. I can continue making these videos and that's all I got. So uh, until next time, we will catch all of you later.